Welcome back to our YouTube channel, Sports Fans. Today, we've got an exciting recap of a thrilling NBA showdown between the New York Knicks and the Boston Celtics. It was a game that had fans on the edge of their seats, and we're here to break down the highs and lows of this epic encounter. So, let's dive right in. The game was a roller coaster of emotions, and it all started with a bang. Rookie sensation Quentin Grimes hit a critical three-pointer from the corner, extending the Knicks' lead and giving fans a taste of what's to come this season. With just over four minutes remaining, the Knicks led 99-93, and the crowd at Madison Square Garden erupted. But in the NBA, fortunes can change in a heartbeat. The Celtics weren't about to let the Knicks steal the show on opening night. They roared back into the game, ultimately sealing a 108-104 victory. It was a tough pill to swallow for the Knicks, but they showed tremendous resilience and determination. The Knicks, under the guidance of coach Tom Thibodeau, are not in the business of accepting moral victories. They demand accountability and excellence. Despite the loss, they proved they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best in the Eastern Conference. This matchup was just the first chapter in their 82-game novel. Jalen Brunson had an off night, missing 15 of his 21 shots, and Julius Randle struggled from the field, going 5 for 22. These two are essential players for the Knicks, and they know they'll need to perform at their best for the team to succeed. The Knicks had their fair share of struggles, especially from the free throw line. A 14 for 26 performance wasn't up to par, and it's an area they'll undoubtedly look to improve upon as the season progresses. But it wasn't all doom and gloom. Emmanuel Quickly and R.J. Barrett showcased their skills, combining for 48 points. The team's ball movement was a positive sign, with 24 assists on 36 made baskets, a significant improvement from the previous season. The Celtics, led by Jason Tatum and Kristaps Porzingis, proved to be a formidable duo. They combined for an impressive 64 points and 19 rebounds, with Porzingis even contributing four blocks. It was a challenging night for the Knicks, to say the least. Coach Thibodeau made it clear that he's not interested in consolation prizes. He's all about building a culture of winning and continuous improvement. The Knicks will need to use this experience to prepare for their upcoming games on the road in Atlanta, New Orleans, and Cleveland. As Julius Randle put it, we have ourselves a chance to win. The Knicks have shown that when they're at their best, they can compete with anyone. It's a long season, and the lessons from this game will be valuable in their journey to success. So that's a wrap for this thrilling matchup between the Knicks and the Celtics. It might not have ended the way the Knicks hoped, but the future looks promising for this young and talented team. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more exciting NBA coverage, and stay tuned for our next video.